Batman cheeks! Batman cheeks! A strong stench of body odor and Dorito dust filled the air at Area 51. Weirdos from all around the world had gathered in the desert to quote, see them aliens. Most were friendly people that just wanted to join in on the meme and had no intentions of storming the base. However, there were some that despite all logic and reason, decided to rush into the heavily guarded pitch black base, armed with nothing but whatever they had on them and their running shoes. Did you see that happen? No, what? The person that ran across. These people, despite all odds, somehow managed to free an alien. But this alien didn't exactly look like a traditional alien. In fact, he looked very similar to us. Cold and afraid, the alien eventually ran into an unsuspecting woman, a woman named Sarah. Are you okay? The show Naruto had actually preserved a life instead of virginity for once. Uh, so uh, who would have thought? We interrupt this program to bring you a limited edition alien clothing shirt that is too sexy for YouTube. Go over to alienclothing.com to see those alien cheeks. It comes in three colors and there's a vinyl sticker. Also, the limited edition vinyl figure for Elvis the Alien is available now. Get it while it's still available. Go to youtube.com to get one. Okay, that's it. Back to the video. Hello? So fast. What are you talking about? The guys with the bandanas. Sarah, being quite naive and far too welcoming to strangers, decided to help this stranded naked man holding a large jar of something. What's your name? They call me Elvis. What you got there? This is John Lennon. It's my son. Elvis loved John Lennon. He carried him in his ass for 28 months, after all. But when he finally gave birth to the thing, he was... Well, just look at him. He looks like shit. Something went wrong in Elvis's ass. His kid isn't pretty. Unfortunately for Elvis, John Lennon can communicate via telepathy. And he's kind of a prick. Hey, I can't see. Spin me around. Or I'll cr crawl my way out of here and suck your blood until your penis looks like a dried pea pod. What, what, is, what is that? Is shit good? Weed stash. I like this. So, uh, you said you're not from here, so where are you from? That's what my planet's called. Some say Elvis is an alien that inhabited a human's body for survival. Others say he is the result of a mad scientist experiment to fuse an alien to a human's body. In the end, nobody really knows why he is the way he is. Ah! Extra potent. Oh god, what's that thing? It's there are more rabbits! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Um, Holy shit, that's another one! Ah! Sarah brought Elvis and John Lennon back to her place at the Little A. Lee Inn. She gave Elvis some clothes to wear, and then they were off to explore the rocky hills of Nevada. And then, it was time to hit the strip. It was time for fabulous Las Vegas!
By the end of the night, Elvis had spent practically all of Sarah's cash in the casino and drank until he felt like a carpet. But that wasn't a bad thing. Elvis likes feeling like a carpet. Everything was just dandy for a while after that. Sarah has a thing for weird fucks that spend all of her money, so she decided to stay with Elvis. In the end, she was the only person to attend the raid that got to clap them alien cheeks. All in all, the world was right again. That was... Until today! Hey, this is the life, isn't it, John? We're finally free, little guy. Yeah, free from your mama's pussy! Just shut up. I think there's some motherfuckers at the door. Hey, where you going? You leave me here? What the fuck? Get back here, you piece of shit! I hate you! I swear to God, if I ever get out of here!